Manny, how are you, Valley? <laughs> I saw your poster last night. It said oh, Emmanuel Brazil. Oh, just outside the restaurant. Yeah, your yeah. nice, very, very uh, sleek promo shot you had. Yeah, that, that was actually in the magazine for the Restaurant Here magazine uh, about four months ago. And we had the Valentine's special, Andy and I. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Beautiful, that beautiful, was a good beautiful. Night. It was busy. Yeah, I, it sure was. Yeah, it was good. It was very delicious. I can still taste it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we having today? Okay, we're going to do some uh, calf's liver with a Granny Smith apple uh, compote, bit of jus, and uh, some roast veg. So first thing we're going to start off is um, I started cooking the onions. Okay, it would take quite. A, it would take about like 20 minutes. Uh, just uh, cooking onions, slice them really thin, a little bit of butter. I wanted the apples, uh, Granny Smith. I peeled them already and cored them. So I'm mm -hmm. going to start frying these up here. Apples and liver, that sounds like... Oh, apples a, and onions excellent. is an yeah. interesting thing. Well, I mean, onions go really well. I know, yeah. like, onions have always gone really well with liver, but apples, nice and sweet, it's really nice. Liver and onions, that's the, that's yeah. the mm -hmm. core basic dish. Exactly. So I'm going to start there, and then what I have, too, I'm going to put some cider, apple cider vinegar. Okay. A bit of maple syrup we're going to put in there. Mm. And also, um, I have some mashed potatoes, Yukon mash. Made them already, so we're ready to go. And what we're going to do with that is, I got some bacon that I cooked already. Okay. It's cooked. I'm going to put some in there. Bacon goes really well with liver, too. Really nice combination. Some uh, parsley. Put some parsley Now, liver's kind of an acquired taste. Now, some uh, people definitely. are not big liver fans. Um. But uh, I, I think, you know what the problem is, is like in the old days, even with my parents, they used to overcook it. It'd be Probably like over. shoe leather. Exactly, yeah. It's almost like, uh, like tongue. Have you ever had tongue before? It's no, like, I don't want to. The texture is very similar. <laughs> And, uh, and the problem is, I mean, I think people overcook it constantly, all the time. It, it's, it's overcooked. Personally, I like it just on the grill, medium rare, and then just on a focaccia bun or something. Oh, it's just it's beautiful. And then it's good. And then you yeah, get some sweet. of the. It's, it's actually sweet. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had it. You like gonna that. try some? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, well done. What was okay. that last thing you put in there? Oh, sorry, pummery mustard. Oh. So you got some pummery mustard in here. And then it's better than just basic. I mean, even if you had some, uh, say, the day before you had some. Um, yeah, you, you had breakfast, you had some bacon no leftover, you could, you could use that. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a potato salad, if you have bacon no leftover, it's kind of nice too. So it, it's going to, the, the mustard's going to give a little bit of tang to it. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to put some uh, cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. A touch of uh, maple syrup. And this is a really interesting combination. It's sweet and salty and... Dark. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Tang and and then we have a little bit of brown sugar brown in sugar. there and a little bit of butter. So we're going to cook that out. So I actually have some here made already, all ready to go. It'll probably take about another 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. that's the applesauce and I put a bit of uh, veal jus into it already. Okay. Then also I brought some nice roasted vegetables, winter vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, ah. Butternut squash and parsnip, some carrots, some zucchinis and I threw some peppers in there for some color. Right. So I'm going to saute that off. Okay. Touch of olive oil in there. And are we going to put that liver in soon? soon. <laughs> we better do that because we're about out of time on those. <laughs> I will be eating that, I'll tell you that. No, the liver is only going to take a not couple minutes. Not the raw, not the liver tartare. No, of course not. Okay. Lots of time. Okay. Two minutes, lots of time? Lots of time. Yeah, you have such a pro, right? Besides overcooking it, can this be undercooked as well? Yeah, you can have a medium rare. Uh -huh. Some people yeah, actually have medium a medium rare. Yep. So I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in the veg here. Okay, nice hot pan. Okay. I put it over there so it won't splash anybody. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we usually take the jump yeah. back. Okay. All right. That's one. All right, right, right. Just put it here. So I mean the sauce. Now, will your son eat liver, Manny? Uh, no. <laughs> Take a look for that. Just smell it. Mmm, that's nice. It's sweet mm. and yeah. vinegary. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we have one that's quick That's when I got prejudiced against liver too when I was a kid. There's something yeah. about it, you know. Yeah. It's got a consistency. I think it's the shoe leather consistency. I think so. But so your own boy won't eat it. No. Not even when you do it all up nicely with the no. apples. And the, you're an honest man, Manny. I am. Uh, okay. All right. Just about out of time here, 45 okay. seconds. Look at him present. 45, you can Watch this, lots of time. Lots of time. All right. I tell you who, who was still to come on daytime, but uh, <laughs> for more information, you can call 416-239-2391 or go to the website at www.valhalla-in.com.